Hello, welcome to Science Chomp. Today I'm going to be talking about changing state. Now the physical states of matter are solid, liquid and gas. To go from a solid to a liquid is called melting, from a liquid, liquid to a gas is called boiling, from a gas to a liquid is called condensing, and from a liquid to a solid is called freezing. So let's have a look at what actually happens. Okay, this is a graph to show thermal energy and temperature and let's just interpret what's going on here. The first thing I want to say is that the temperature is the average kinetic energy of the particles within that matter. Okay? And what happens is as you have a piece of solid here and you give it thermal energy, so it's going across this way, what happens is the temperature of the solid increases okay and this is because the average kinetic energy of every single particle is increasing if you give it thermal energy and thermal energy is heat what the particles do is they move they vibrate faster and it moves further apart okay so the temperature is going to increase okay when it hits this point this is called the melting point and as you can see, if you add more thermal energy, it doesn't increase in temperature, it just goes straight across. So all of these, all the solid from here to here, has exactly the same temperature, even though you've given it more thermal energy. And the reason being is that here, bonds are being broken up. So it's the equivalent of getting a piece of Lego and you're breaking it apart and you're breaking every individual piece of Lego so it, uh, it breaks apart. So that's what melting is. It's breaking bonds. And I shall write that here. Melting is breaking bonds. Okay? When it hits this point here, everything has melted, everything has turned into a liquid. And once again, the, the particles, they just move faster and further apart. And this is basically just heating up a liquid. When it gets to this point here, so we've added more and more and more thermal energy, and it hits the boiling point. And this is when the liquid starts turning into a gas, just like in um, when the solid is melting, right? You've got the same kind of process, except it's not bonds which are being broken because they've already been broken. What's happening here is that forces of attraction are being overcome. So I'll write that over here. Forces of attraction are overcome. Okay, so that's the force of attraction between one particle of liquid and another particle of liquid. There's a certain amount of attraction, and when you push them apart, that force of attraction is overcome. Okay, so just to reiterate what's going on, particles are moving faster and, and basically just taking up more space. Temperature is increasing. Temperature no longer increases because all of the energy is going towards breaking bonds. Once all of the bonds have broken, it's turned into a liquid, and the temperature once again increases up here. Once it hits the boiling point, the en all of the energy is being used to overcome the forces of attraction. And once all of those forces of attraction are overcome, it then turns into a gas, and then it just takes up more and more volume. Okay? And that's what happens when you look at changes of state. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.